How to learn good habits. At the end of the day, you are defined by your habits. Most of a person's experience in life is determined by a familiar routine. With this in mind, it is disappointing that so many people let themselves get weighed down by bad habits without thinking about it. While this may sound like a bad thing, habits can work just as much to the advantage of you and your life. Although good habits are usually much harder to pick up than their negative equivalent, following through with an activity tends to become a lot easier once it becomes routine. The trick is simply to get those good habits started in the first place. Forming habits. Understand how habits are formed. On a brighter note, habits naturally become a lot easier to follow through with the longer you stick with them. Someone who goes out running every day for a year won't even feel the need to be motivated to keep going out, too. Start small. All habits take time to grow. At the start to something new, it's natural to feel excited. The most common mistake people make at the beginning is by taking on too much, too soon. Even if you're feeling really motivated or anxious for change, a more gradual habit will be much easier to stay true to. For example, if you're wanting to go out running every day and want to ultimately run for 45 minutes each morning, trying starting with 10 minutes. At first it may seem like you're selling yourself short, but it will seem a lot more manageable than the full amount for the times when you need to be motivated. Of course, you can do the full amount on days you're feeling up to it. Gradually build upon your habit. Once you start very small, you'll be able to build up the habit as your motivation for the activity increases. This should be done in small, non-threatening increments. For instance, if you started out going for a 10-minute run each morning, you should try pushing it up to 15 minutes after a week, adding 5 extra minutes onto your total until you reach the end goal. By keeping the increases small and gradual, you'll be able to give yourself the time to adapt. Find ways to enjoy the activity. If you feel difficulty in starting a habit, there's a very good chance you don't naturally see enough pleasure involved in the experience. Luckily, for the vast majority of beneficial activities, there are plenty of ways you can see something positively. Finding the joy in something will make you enjoy the experience more, and this will make you feel more motivated to keep up with it. For example, many joggers report getting a runner's high after running for a while. Exercise can be a naturally pleasurable thing once you get the hang of it. Other ways you could improve a jogging situation would be to bring music or a running partner along with you. If you're studying a topic for school or work, you should try to acknowledge what things are interesting in the given subject you're working on. Write reminders for yourself. No matter how motivated you are right now, there are going to be times when the goal slips your mind. Posting reminders of the habit you want to learn is a good way to keep your mind in the right spirit. Write a note on your calendar about it, or include a post-it note next to your computer. Because habits are best learned when they're daily, try including the notes in places you'll probably go past every day. If you have a cell phone with a built-in alarm clock, one thing you can do to remind yourself of your habit is to record a voice note where you tell yourself to follow through. Set your phone to play this voice memo when you wake up. That way, the first thing you'll hear in the morning is a direct, customized reminder to work on your chosen habit. Remember the adage, out of sight, out of mind, you want to get the opposite of this. Accommodate for slip-ups. 